Section 2 of Stops or How to Punctuate, a Practical Handbook for Writers and Students. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Zachary Brewster Geis and Laurie Ann Walden. Stops or How to Punctuate by Paul Allardyce. Section 2. The Full Stop. Rule 1. A full stop is placed at the end of every sentence that is neither exclamatory nor interrogative. Example 1. A penal statute is virtually annulled if the penalties which it imposes are regularly remitted as often as they are incurred. Stop. The sovereign was undoubtedly competent to remit penalties without limit stop he was therefore competent to annul virtually a penal statute stop it might seem that there could be no serious objection to his doing formally what he might do virtually stop how much should be put into a sentence is rather a matter of style than of punctuation the tendency of modern literature is in favor of the short sentence in the prose of milton and of jeremy taylor the full stop does not come to release the thought till all the circumstances have been grouped around it and the necessary qualifications made. In Macaulay, the circumstances and the qualifications are set out sentence by sentence. So the steps of reasoning in the example which we have given are stated with that distinct pause between each of them which the reader would make if he thought them out for himself. They might be welded together thus. Example 2 seeing that a penal statute is virtually annulled if the penalties which it imposes are regularly remitted as often as they are incurred comma, and seeing that the sovereign was undoubtedly competent to remit penalties without limit comma, it follows that he was competent to annul virtually a penal statute semicolon, and it might seem that there could be no serious objection to his doing formally what he might do virtually stop both forms are correct in point of punctuation which is the better form is a question of style. Take another example. Example 3. The sides of the mountain were covered with trees. Semicolon. The banks of the brooks were diversified with flowers. Semicolon. Every blast shook spices from the rocks. Semicolon. And every mouth dropped fruits upon the ground. Stop. There is here an advantage in putting these four statements together instead of making four separate sentences we can more easily combine the details and so form a single picture, a picture of fertility. Rule 2. As a rule, the full stop is not to be inserted till the sentence be grammatically complete. But some parts of the sentence necessary to make it grammatically complete may be left for the reader to supply. Example 4. It is well said, in every sense, that a man's religion is the chief fact with regard to him. Stop a man's or a nation of men's stop by religion i do not mean here the church creed which he professes the articles of faith which he will sign and in words or otherwise assert stop not this wholly in many cases not this at all stop rule three when a sentence is purposely left unfinished the dash takes the place of the full stop see rule forty Example 5. Excuse me, said I, but I am a sort of collector. Stop. Not income tax, question mark, cried His Majesty, hastily removing his pipe from his lips. Stop. Rule 4. A full stop is placed after most abbreviations, after initial letters, and after ordinal numbers in Roman characters. Example 6. Genesis one twenty, denoted, G E N stop small i stop twenty. Two pounds, denoted two L B S stop. A D eighteen eighty three, denoted A stop D stop eighteen eighty three. Three P M, denoted three P stop M stop. Etc., denoted ampersand c stop and e t c stop m d denoted m stop 
D stop. J S mill, denoted J stop S stop mill. William three, King of England, denoted William capital I I I stop comma King of England. M S denoted M S stop. L L D denoted L L stop D stop. Parentheses, not M stop S stop and L stop L stop D stop. Close parentheses. Note that the use of the full stop in these cases does not prevent another point from being used immediately after it. But if they occur at the end of a sentence, another full stop is not added. Or, more correctly, it may be said that Rule 4 does not apply at the end of a sentence. Mr. Mrs. Doctor, abbreviations which retain the last letter of the whole word, are written without a point. End of section 2